Hi, my name is Morgan Cheng and I'm the senior author of the study, which reveals some interesting new insights into the function of TREM2, a risk gene for Alzheimer's disease. Our work suggests that microglial cells in the brain use TREM2 as a receptor to take up lipoprotein particles and a beta when it's associated with lipoprotein particles and in this way protect the brain from Alzheimer's disease. The disease is characterized by accumulation in the brain of a toxic protein called beta amyloid or A beta. And these toxic peptides are aggregate and they cause neuronal death and uh, dysfunction. The microglia are resident immune cells of the brain that function to clean up and clear away molecular and cellular debris. TREM2, which is the subject of this study, was identified in human genetics as causing or increasing the risk of Alzheimer's disease. And TREM2, interestingly enough, is one of those genes that is only expressed in microglia in the brain. What is striking about TREM2, which is a protein on the surface of microglia, is that the mutations that cause Alzheimer's disease, most of them are present in one region on the outside of the protein facing the extracellular space and we hypothesize that mutations in that region disrupt the binding of TREM2 to its uh, normal ligands or binding partners. So we began by purifying the extracellular domain of TREM2 and we screened it on a protein microarray in an unbiased manner and we discovered that TREM2 interacted with lipoproteins and apolipoproteins such as APOE and APOJ, which themselves are genetic risk factors for Alzheimer's disease. We'd also like to point out that during the course of our study, two other groups also discovered these interactions. We took heterologous cells and overexpressed TREM2 in these cells, and we discovered that with an overexpression of TREM2, we were able to increase the uptake of TREM2 ligands into these cells. And conversely, when we studied microglia, where TREM2 was knocked out, we saw a decrease in the amount of lipoprotein uptake in these cells, suggesting that TREM2 acts as an uptake receptor for its needs. When we studied the effect of the Alzheimer's disease mutations on binding to TREM2, we noticed that TREM2 mutations decreased the binding to its ligands. In addition, when we looked at uptake, these mutations also had a decrease in the amount of uptake um, of their respective lipoproteins, including APOE and APOJ. So these results demonstrate that the Alzheimer's disease mutations are loss of function, indicating that TREM2 acts in a protective manner in Alzheimer's disease. So it's been previously reported that apolipoproteins such as APOE and APOJ interact with amyloid beta. So we wondered whether it was possible that these, the binding between amyloid beta and these apolipoproteins and lipoproteins could act as a way to convey these A-beta complexes to microglia through TREM2. So to do this experiment, what we did was we created a complex between A-beta and lipoproteins, and we fed these to microglia, and we found that microglia efficiently took up these A-beta complexes versus free A-beta. And we looked at microglia that lacked TREM2, we found that these cells had a deficit in the ability to take up A-beta complexes, as well as clear these A-beta complexes. We were able to find human subjects that carried a Alzheimer's disease TREM2 variant. We collected macrophages from these subjects, and macrophages are similar to microglia. And surprisingly, interestingly enough, we found that the macrophages had a deficit in their ability to take up amyloid beta complexes. We have shown that TREM2 binds to a set of lipoproteins and apolipoproteins, including APOE and APOJ. Overall, TREM2 helps microglia to take in lipoprotein A-beta particles or complexes and degrade them. Like any study, there are some caveats and limitations to what we found. Firstly, our experiments are largely in vitro. Secondly, TREM2 probably has multiple functions and we're scratching the surface and re-looking really at just one aspect of its function.